Welcome to CTN Videos. Today we have a demonstration of Firefox OS Simulator by Mozilla. If you haven't heard of Firefox OS yet, it is a OS, a web-based OS by Mozilla, the creators of the Firefox browser. And it isn't a very strong competition for Android or iOS, but it could eventually be. What you want to do is download Firefox Aurora to your computer for either Linux, Mac, or Windows. And then once you have it downloaded, you will want to go to addons.mozilla.org. Once you're on the website, search for Firefox OS. And this will take you to the 2.0 version of the Firefox OS simulator. If you want the 3.0 version, which came out yesterday, go to the link in the description, hacks.mozilla.org, etc. Scroll down, it'll go through all the new features in the 3.0 version, and it'll have three links, one for Windows, one for Mac, and one for Linux. If you're running Mac, go ahead and download that one. If you're running Linux, click on it, download it as an add-on, and same for Windows. Once you have those downloaded, you'll want to go to Tools, Web Developer, and then click on Firefox OS Simulator. That's going to open up this. And you have all of these. You'll be able to add apps. But let's just get to the simulator. I'm going to click it, and now it's going to run. As you can see, it's a pretty OS, and yet not quite yet feature rich. Since it is mainly web-based, there's not a, that many native apps, and you, there's not very many dedicated apps. A lot of the apps, where the, where the beef of the apps comes from, is HTML5 apps, web, web browser apps. Here are the pre-installed apps. You have an FM radio, which of course it doesn't work on a computer. You have a camera, again, doesn't work on a computer. Gallery for all your pictures taken with your camera or imported. You have settings pretty normal to Android or iOS. Pretty similar. Except that you're not going to have 61.9 gigabytes available. Then you have your marketplace, which just has a couple apps that I haven't found to be very native. You have the template and a lot of other developer tools. Then you have your calendar, which isn't very fancy at all. Then you have a clock, which is a pretty kind of modern style clock, and I definitely do like the look of it. You have a couple, you have a game, another, you have two other games on here that were removed in the 3.0 version. You have the web browser, which if you, if you have used the Firefox web browser for Android, it's very, very similar. You have your contacts, the phone, which of course, again, does not work on a computer, messaging, which has a couple um, test messages for you, with a smiley face behind everyone. That's pretty much it for apps. It's not very, very exciting. It does have, just like iOS and Android, a scroll down notification center, notification shade, whatever that you want to call it, which has a couple of settings here. Then if you scroll to the left, it gives you what they call everything. And you have weather, TV, music, local. And I found that whatever you use, if you click on it, it's just going to open up the web app of all of these apps. Which is not very exciting, but can be useful. You can download Twitter apps and Facebook apps, but I still do not think that it's... a very big competition for Android and iOS. I think that it is definitely a good base operating system and for people who do not want to spend a bunch of money or do not want a very smart smartphone. If they just want a simple smartphone, this is definitely a nice OS and is very simple to use. There's not too much to do. All these apps like UI tests, test sensor, they're going to be gone in a full version. This is a the simulator is really made for developers so they can download apps and see how it runs. In the um, 
3.0 version, you're going to find these two buttons right here. This asks for your location. This asks, this changes the orientation. And I find that the first time of booting it up every time, it takes a little bit for the orientation to change. And it t I have to navigate for a little bit, and it eventually changes. If you can tell, the screen isn't that big, and that's pretty much what it's going to be like with um, normal Firefox phones because they're not that the screens aren't that big right now. Thank you for watching CTN videos. Please check back soon for other cool videos. We have reviews, we have news videos, and we have the coverage of the Samsung Galaxy S4 event today. So please check back soon and subscribe to the, the, our channel and please like this video.